So if I want to make this smaller, I can make it 1 16th high. You can see down there, I can change the layer or the color, whatever I would like here. All of these settings are the same as almost every other object within AutoCAD, and they're all editable, just like this was text. Now, the gray background hatch behind a field is just that. It's just a background behind the field. It's not actually going to plot. So when this prints, it's just going to print like any piece of text. The gray is just an indicator that this is a linked piece of text and not necessarily editable in the same way that normal text is. I can't change the text within the gray block because it's pulling from somewhere else. To edit that text, say if it was pulling from a drawing name or a client, you would have to go to where it's pulling from to edit that text from there. Now, in that case, many times you're going to want to link your drawing title block information to a sheet set or drawing properties so that it can be edited in one place. You're never going to have to open up 5, 10, 15 drawings to edit each piece of text anymore. You can simply open up the main file, change your drawing properties, and that's going to change all of the text in every layout tab that you may have. Now, if you're using sheet sets, you can change it in the sheet set manager. You can open that by SSM is the command and you can open the sheet set manager. This video is not going to go into sheet sets. I have other ones on my channel if you want to search for those or if you want to learn and create your own title blocks linked to sheet sets as well as learn how to operate and use sheet sets like a pro.